This video is not for the sensitive hoes. The ones who can't take anyone else's opinions except for their own. If you can't have a mature conversation, then darling, this video is not for you. You will be blocked immediately. Now remember to keep it cute, keep it mute, or get the boot. Now preparing to nanny port to Nina's raw view in 3, a 2, a 1. I'm Nina, bro Nina Brown, and you are now watching the Nina channel. <laughs> hate my life <laughs> okay how long do I have to smile <laughs> oh we're done with you Nina fish and chips you want my apples come get my apples <laughs> Oh, look, I just saw you ragged it half a, what, a day ago. And here I am again, have to see y'all again. Y'all have to see me. Anyway, welcome back to another Out of Nowhere Raw View by Pierre, a.k.a. Nina Melina Brown, a.k.a. Pierre, however you want to put it. Y'all know this is a place where we come to keep it cute, keep it mute, or you will get the boot blocked and chopped immediately. If you are somebody who comes here and you just get mad over anything that's not even nothing worth getting mad about, this channel's not for you. If you're too soft, it's not for you. If I, if you claim you a fan of mine, but then I say something that you may not like about some of the queen you like, and you show your true colors, you will be blocked and chopped immediately. I say that because I have a lot of people that come here and like, they, I guess they're fans of mine, but then I guess they start liking new queens and then they turn their back on you really quick and be like, I'm like calm down. Everybody that watches my raw views know that I don't come from any ill place unless it's somebody who I just don't like for real. So just calm down. Um, but yeah, we're back. Cause I was going to do a raw view anyway of the fame game runways. So this shouldn't take long at all. Thank God. Um, and I guess because I think I think the runways are over and people are voting now. I guess I just want to go, go through the looks and um, see were they even worth being on stage. You know, okay, or were they sent home for a reason? <laughs> and as always, if you would like to tip and support, you know, for these videos and things, um, please do. All that tip and information is in the description box down below. Oh, Yolanda, girl, I'm wearing your colorful outfit. I went out today and this is the first time people thought I was actually gay. Cause whenever I go out, I give off down low butch trade tees. Nobody ever knows. But you gave me away today, girl, wearing this outfit. <laughs> it's cute though, it's cute. But it is like, you gotta have a lot of confidence to wear this. You know, even though she's not in the top two, James might be the biggest winner from yeah. this season. Well, I'm trying to get to the runways, but um, that's good for James. But y'all should have known who James was the first season. Stop sleeping on people just from the, from the get-go. Like, I can already see that James was a star and special. It's sad that other people didn't see that, but, you know, it's good that, you know, people were able to see it this time. <laughs> you don't oh, people were saying that, I guess when the girls were coming in, that the girls weren't clapping for James. I didn't notice that, but I'm sure it's probably true. <laughs> Here we go. I'm assuming these are all the runways from the whole season, I think. Like, I may have to go back and watch certain untucks again, but I'm hoping. Net Gala. Oh. Okay, I think it is. So this is the Net Gala. So this is when the girls, I guess, started. Going. Yeah, she went home. Yep, week two. Yep. This is Monica's Net Gala look. I saw this because I, I do watch untuck. I just don't record it. Um, But as far as the look goes, like if she was there, would this have slayed? It's cute. Like, I mean, like, I feel like the looks I've seen, I'm like, they're okay. Um, you would expect more, right? I guess on All Stars, to be, let's be honest. Um, but like, I think Monica's like, is also from, from an era of like, 
back then, it was just about being the illusion of a woman. Like, it was like being a woman. That was the drag. That was the gags. Like, oh, wow, look at the transformation. You know, even though she was trans then, but... And so, like, we, you know, you didn't dress all extra or spend all that much money on all this extra stuff that people think you, you should do. It was just about the illusion. Um, but that being said, though, this is okay. I feel like some of the netting is kind of wrong. Like, especially look at the leg. It's like, I don't know, something funky donkey going on there. But, um, it's cute. I don't think I would rent it, though. So, yeah. Legendary queen. So this is the legendary look. Monica again. Um, I don't get it. I see a cow print scarf. And on the wrist, is she supposed to be like gold cheese or something? I mean, it's a, a cute look, but I don't know if it, if she just was like, well, I have an outfit. Let me just put some cow print. That way they'll get us theory, you know. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll rent the look though. And this is Nasha's um, legs and dairy look. This is cute. It's cute. It's cute. Y'all know it pains me to give her compliments, but y'all know I'm not. I'm a fair person. I'm not gonna just be a messy, bitter, the true kind of pettiness that these people be. You know, the nasty kind of pettiness. Um, and I'll still give you know props when they're due, like I always have done. And um, I'll rent this. I may actually buy it to be honest. I think I'll buy it. It's cute. February is fruit. So this is Fruity Patootie. No. <laughs> I swear, a lot of these looks just seem like afterthoughts. I'm eating peanut butter crackers. Y'all know the worst kind to eat. You stuck all in your teeth, your gums. I feel like a lot of the, her looks seem like afterthoughts. Like, well, I have this. We can just go to Hobby Lobby and, you know, stick some, like, fake lemons to my look. And, you know, yeah, they'll buy it. <laughs> Cause they're giving like very much like she had a costume from Groot and she had on this brown bodysuit and they just glued this there and then put on a couple of lemons and now nah, I'm gonna pass on this one. What do y'all think? Oh. Your mama loved her bodysuits. Um <laughs> But I'll rent this one. I definitely get a fruit, so watermelon. They're showing these really fast. I have to like rewind and stop it really quick. Category is as the. So this is the as the world returns, um, turns runway. I like the wig. It's cute. I mean, it's cute. Like, you know, like it's like, it's nothing that's like, I'm like, it focuses on the runway theme, which is the as, um, cause it's showing a lot of the whole body, but it's still cute when I rent it. <laughs> This is another cute, it's cute. <laughs> I'm gonna rent it. Must I rent her, must I rent her looks? I'm gonna rent it. I love the wig. Kasha's, yeah. <laughs> like, I love how it's called As the World Turns, but you literally, her, the thing is on her back and there's no kind of shape in the butt at all, so now. <laughs> Category is, reveal yourself. I'm like, dang, Monica's here a lot. <laughs> but I forgot she left so early. <laughs> this is the reveal yourself. I mean, what is she revealing, though? I mean, like, it's just a costume. <laughs> but it's a cute costume. I'm going to rent the costume. You know, look, but I'm just like, it doesn't really go with the runway theme for me, but I'll rent it. <laughs> you know, the reveal was a, it was something. I hate the wig. I'm going to pass on this look. Unfortunately, Kasha wasn't really bringing any costumes, really. I'm gonna have to pass on this. This, I will, I think I'll buy this. She looks gorgeous. She looks gorgeous. Wedding dress to the funeral. We've seen it done before, but I think I'll buy this for her. She looks cute. For some reason, I'm getting Death Becomes Her too. I don't know why, with Meryl Streep in it. Category is Night of a Thousand, Grace Jones. So this is the Grace Jones category. No. And I feel like she chose this look because it's kind of simple Grace Jones look to do. This look even for Grace Jones, I don't like it. 
And I, is that her coochie here? Like, dang, I'm like, that's, that's a really deep cut in coochie. <laughs> but yeah, I don't like a rape and race Jones. And I don't like the look for her. I, I, don't, I don't like the wig she chose. Like, maybe she chose a different wig, maybe. But it just seems like a cheap cop out. Like, let me do this look. I'm, like, I'm going to pass on this one. Come on, Grace Jones. No. Like, did you even try, to be honest? <laughs> Like, no. And secretly, I never saw this look on Grace Jones. I hate the wig. But I can see, like, like Grace Jones. Grace would have been a good Storm in her younger days. So they just kind of give me Storm for some reason. But I know, not for, um, this just looks cheap, honestly. I don't like it for nature. I know that photo. Turn around. Hey, didn't somebody there do that look that's, that didn't go, that didn't get sent home? But, um, they tried. But it just looks like, I don't know, it doesn't, it doesn't have enough shape going on, enough origami going on in the dress. Um, so, but, uh, I, don't, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to pass on it because it doesn't, it's not all the way there. I want to rent this for Darian. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's the color, but something about, something about the red and black on her seems faded compared to Grace. But I love the face she's making. Like, it's extra. It's everything. She look a villain. I'm going to rip this for her. I'm going to rent it. Category is Miss Fill in the Blank. This is Miss Fill in the Blank. And it's like she's wearing one of those, um, y'all know I shop at Walmart. I, I forget all these fashion designers' names. But the one that makes the dress like that, that RuPaul always talks about, um, Lux had it on, you know, I can't think of his name right now, but it's like she just got a cheaper one and then just got a sash and was like, yeah, they just threw some words on there and that was it. Cause like there's nothing special about it. Where's the special going on? Yeah. Oh. I will, I think I, I think I'll buy this. Cause the message is like really well done. She just forgot to put on there. I hate Nina for no reason. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'll buy it for her. <laughs> Ariana Grandma. The boots don't go with it at all. She just wanted to wear those boots. <laughs> I mean, uh, just because just because it's Ariana Grandma, I'll rent it just for the campiness of it. Something misshapen, misshapen, misshapen. <laughs> Not misshapen. You know what? Just for that reason, I'm gonna rent it. <laughs> Street Fighter Sixer. New challenger, Mary J. Blige. Hey, yo, where them chicken wraps at? Let's get it. Funk up on up on up in this dancery. Yes, son. So, this is where I'm from, yo. Yo, my life is hard. My life is hard. But you know what made it better, brother? Go chicken wraps. Where them chicken wraps at? Oh, I got the tribal chicken wraps. Make sure you bring me some barbecue sauce. And some change, son. For them chicken wraps. Hey, yo, Mary, show us some of those moves you do. Oh, I'll show you some moves, all right. Hey, yeah. I'm from the Bronx, yo. Another new challenger, Madonna. But you can call me the match. Welcome to the 30th annual Street Fighter Bong Ball, where our competitors will be shabalamming all over the place to see who will take the home. Yeah, I want to adopt that one right there. <laughs> so, Madonna, which category will you be walking? Well, see ya, I would walk the face category, but I can't even recognize my own face anymore. <laughs> Move over, bitches. I'm walking face today. I'm the face. Ooh, honey. The girls are at it today. We'll find out who wins this annual Street Fighter Ball. So get ready to get it percolated with Mary J. Blige in Vogue with Madonna in Street Fighter 6. Who going to watch the Street Fighter 6? Who going to watch the Street Fighter 6? Who going to beat the game today? You going to play the game? You going to play the game? think this is the same category uh but this look is okay it's okay i'll put it on layaway i may pick it up i may not <laughs> category is snow bunny 
oh, the snow bunny look. This, I, th I think this is cute, right? It is cute. Like, like I will rent it. I only wish that this part right around her head would have been just extra, just big fur, just to make it more extravagant. That would have just added the, the touch to it, to a buy, to be honest. But I'll rent it. Oh, I guess it's cute. I mean, like, it's kind of like with Jimbo's one where I was kind of like, where she had the feathers, like, it could be red as snow or ice, but they're not really. So I'm kind of getting the same with this, but I mean, I'll, I'll put it on layaway. <laughs> this is cute. I'm gonna buy this for, for Kasha. She looks cute here, I love it. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, like whose grandma is this? Take off her bathrobe. <laughs> no. Oh, they ain't there shook. It's not. It's not like 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 somebody like I don't know who thinks somebody can't deliver. They're like, oh my god, you did that. <laughs> it's cute though. I kind of hate the white lips. <laughs> I get why, but kind of like she's eating donuts, um, or doing that stuff. You you know the stuff, but um. I'll rent it. Girl, y'all better be glad she went home. <laughs> Buying this. What do you mean? Yes. Everything. Sickening. Ow. Yes. Yes. She should have kept the other part on. And y'all know I hate this wig. Girl, y'all y'all thought Peppermint had a chicken, a chicken noodle soup wig. This beats it. <laughs> it literally is just a packet of ramen noodles. I hate it. I love the coloring though. It's like, it's like almost Cinderella-ish kind of colors going on. But it could have been prettier. Maybe on somebody else. <laughs> I'm just being honest. I don't know. Oh my god, I'm a winner. Yes. Technically, half a winner because Lala won too, so. <laughs> it's going to be doubled by two, which seems appropriate when you think of I'm also glad that James pads his body. Yes, ma'am. The curves are curving. Don't vote for me, please, 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 please. You better. She know anybody voting for her. <laughs> no shade. Me as queen of the fame games. Yes, because I love titles. Vote me on your. James Trump Mansfield, girl, bye. You guys seen how hard I've been working. I want to take this all the way to the top. Kinda where your pants at? I'm over you. <laughs> but I, I'll get to this after the video. But I really think if we were being technical about who should win. Probably kind of, but I'll come back to that. I hope you enjoyed everything I brought. Shower me with the vote. Or even Alexis. If we're being fair. If we're being fair. You know, I want to be the queen of the fame game. Kiss or it'll probably be Jessica just because of popularity and her not making to the top two. Who will be crowned queen of the fame games? Child, let me see. Can I vote real quick, child? I'm on the barcode, child. Let me see. On my phone, y'all. I mean, Monica, I mean, I mean, she cute or whatever, but uh, <laughs> I mean, Nisha, uh, girl, such a horrible person. But, you know, she had, oh, some, a few, a few cute looks, if I'm being honest, being real. Kasha and Darian. Kasha and Darian are fun people, funny, but the looks didn't really add up, so d can't. I'm gonna come back to the two in the middle. Jessica Wild, I mean, fun. She did have some decent looks, but I don't think it's the best out of everyone. Lala, I know everybody loves her, you know, but I have to be honest, most of the looks were just okay. Alexis Michelle. She had some really good looks. She did have some good looks. She did. She really did. Like, I'm still mad about that dang Last Dragon inspired Raid in Mortal Kombat black outfit. It was sickening. Um, so I could vote for her, but she didn't give me Black China. <laughs> Kahana Montrese, cool girl. And she did bring some looks. She did. Like she had the money. She brought some looks. She brought some looks. She did, and it's just, just to be fair, but I know people fell out with her because of the whole Heidi thing, And I, but I hope people are voting fairly and not based on some petty drama. And James is a friend of mine, of course, but he still didn't do that Lady Bunny role with me, though, that I asked him to do. And 
when all the stuff was happening with the whole like transphobic thing, they didn't say nothing out loud at all. So, I mean, I could be petty and use that. Um, <laughs> and the looks were better. They were like she had some cute looks. She did. She did. But if I'm going off of being fair, like if I'm being fair, right, just not because she's my friend, which I still might vote for her just because she's my friend. I'm, I may. But it's like, it's between, for me, Alexis and Kahana. As far as look-wise. Oh. I don't know. I'm going to have to come back to this. <laughs> well, guys, um, who do y'all think? Are y'all going to be voting fairly? Or are y'all going to be voting off of popularity? Cause that's how every competition is. No matter if it's like on TV, your high school, your elementary school, it's uh, your, at a local club. It's always the people who bring the most people. Not really the talent or anything. It's just like, that's just how it is, unfortunately. But are y'all gonna be fair and, and go off of like who y'all think had the better looks, honestly? It's hard, I, I don't know, I don't know. But, and, and then do our votes really matter? Like, or are they gonna just pull stunts anyway? You know? Um, yeah, I don't know. But anyway, thank y'all for coming to this random raw view. And um, I'll see you for the next last episode of this season. Let's see who wins. Until then, stay beat, stay beautiful, but most importantly, stay blessed. Kimacho or Kamochi. Bye. <laughs>